What is up my Ramblers, and today we're back again with another video. Um, I'm just kind of running a test right now, I'm not actually uploading this. Okay, what is up everybody, today we're back again with another video. So right here I got this beautiful, gorgeous laptop, Acer, of course. I just want to take a little peek at that. A nice Acer laptop with a nice greasiness on there, fingerprints, whatnot, you know. Uh, so this thing's also an old laptop. <laughs> rocking that Windows Vista sticker, you know what I mean? So, uh, Intel, Claron, uh, whatever that is, I, I don't know, Aspire, Aspire 5335, if you want to know what kind of laptop this is. So let's boot that up real quick. Turns out it wasn't charged, so... Let's plug that in. It's alive. So if you don't know, this is Windows Vista. Everything, you know, nice and nice, whatnot. So you might be wondering what we're going to be doing. Uh, so right here, we're going to try to put Linux onto that thing. So right now we got Linux Mint on there. We got the latest version. Um, you can see it. Yeah, Linux Mint 18, Cinnamon Mint 32-bit, that ISO. So. So we've been trying to put stuff on here. We've tried to put Ubuntu. That's why it's called Ubuntu, but... We've been trying to put Ubuntu and Linux on here because it does not want to connect to Wi-Fi. Like, it'll connect, but it says there's stuff wrong with the modem and whatnot, so. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this back off. I'm going to take you into the boot menu and show that it doesn't work uh, real quick. So, see you there. I always love spamming the F12 button. There we go. Alright, so right down here, USB, HD, whatnot. Let's just go into setup real quick. Go over to boot. So let's move this priority. There we go. So that's up there now. So let me just kind of show you. So let's go over to save and exit. And <coughs> we've tried this many times, and a lot of people are saying that. I mean, it might just magically work now because I'm on camera and, you know, all that kind of stuff, but people have been saying since some of the newer versions aren't, like, compatible with stuff. Yeah, you see, Microsoft Corporation whatnot. Frick off, Microsoft. Anyways, like I was saying, we're going to put uh, an older version of Linux on here. And I'll get to you when you see that. I'm going to let you just see this little thing. I love... Bam. Alright, show me the Linux. So now we're on the big boy uh, computer. I'm going to put Linux up on here now. I don't know what I'm supposed to put. I'm going to put a little research into it real quick and uh, see which type of version of Linux I should put on here. I'm on Windows 10 on this one and I can actually connect to Wi-Fi, unlike this little scumbag over here. So... Let's, let's put that get get done. See. Oh, I'm back inside so full. Oh.
doing this on camera is a lot harder. So the other way. Come on. And almost there. I think it's in there. Come on, Windows 10, you got this. Come on, buddy boy, you got this. Don't update on me now. Come on, buddy boy, we got this. Got this. computer now so we're gonna go over to Chrome nope steam go away go away steam steam no nope. uh -huh. uh -huh. hey look guys it's my analytics and stuff he 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 all right so I'm gonna put a Ubuntu 6.06 on here. Alright. I'll see you guys later when that, that gets that gets loaded. Stuff takes forever. So let's give some specs on this little little Acer machine thing here. Alright. So uh, Alright. Manufacturer Acer Aspire 5335 3.5 experience. All right, so we got genuine, uh, genuine. It's a genuine Intel CPU, not any other kind. Genuine, and then yeah, 2.16 gigahertz, whatever that is. Uh, memory, RAM. 2 gigs, which actually is not that bad. 32 bit. Alright, guys, so my computer's been crashing for some stupid reason. Right now, it doesn't like File Explorer. Yes, out of all things, it's crashing because of File Explorer. Whenever I pull it open, right? See if it does it again. Oh, it might not even load properly this time. You try to click on anything else. Say I wanna. Well, I mean it's loading right now, but say I click on this. Yeah, it just did even before well, I clicked it, and then not responding, and then it did this to me last time, but then it just the whole thing crashed. And it got stuck in a restart loop, and I it was stupid. I don't know, it's not cooperating with me right now, and I don't, I don't like that. So, after my computer crashing a bunch of times, I decided I was done with that, so I went on my little computer, and uh, decided to download Chrome OS and see if that's going to work, so, yeah, pull this open. Hopefully this doesn't need Wi-Fi to download. Connecting to the internet, yeah, no, no, man. So that's gonna be our problem right here, is connecting to the internet. I forgot, Chrome OS is pretty much just, as long as you're connected to the internet, you pretty much do anything, but... Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, so nope. No Chrome OS. So I switched it through that, I decided I wasn't gonna do that. And I went to go with um, uh, Lubuntu. Hold on. Here, hold on. Yeah. So I went with Lubuntu right there. And uh, I was looking up some stuff on it, and I found. This thing right here, I use that to do whatever with it so that it'll work. And, uh, well, let's, let's see what happens.
We're in. It's booting up. It's booting up. It's booting up. Oh. Oh, we're good. We're good. Just do it. Let's do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think we ran into a problem there. Hold on. All right, let's do this again. I think I know. So I've tried this a couple times, and I think I know why it hasn't been working. So, regularly I've been just doing default, but this time I'm going to install it. So I don't know if that's just still going to bring it up, and I'm still going to install it. I don't, I don't know, but we'll see. Oh, okay. I, I think we got a mice. Come on. Oh. Okay, let's go through the setup. No, actually, actually, no. I'm gonna do that. Okay, yeah, so I've tried this a couple times, so we're going to erase Ubuntu and reinstall it. Bam. Bam. And let's go. Hopefully it'll work this time. Yeah, sure, I'll live in New York, why not? And we're gonna name this computer, uh... Ubuntu... Okay, that, okay, what was that? What, what just happened? Um... Oh, the battery died. Yeah, maybe we fix that. Stupid. Okay, so I plugged it in now. It's plugged in. It's another day. I did that yesterday, but you know my my camera just just died it, and I recorded the rest of it, even though my camera was working. <laughs> It didn't work, but I have an idea, because the big computer is acting up again. It's different now. It, it is, trust me. But what I learned doing that is that, because it was advanced options or something. So, the reason why we can't install this on that is because it's a sucky USB and don't want to work. So, we're going to put it on there, right? And, and that's pretty much it. That's, that's it you know. I'm, I'm kind of dumb because I forgot that I deleted Windows Vista off this thing. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, hopefully that boots off that real quick. That'll be nice. Oh yeah, I reset it to the defaults. Well, it should go through all the things until it finds an OS, right? Oh, let's hit F12. Can we get in the BIOS from here? No? Okay. I'll turn it off. Turn it back on. No. Come on, work. 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 Come on. Just believe in yourself. Huh? Got it. 
that's F12, right? Yep. Spam that stuff right there, man. I didn't get it. How did I not get that? It was so easy. Let's try again. Come on. To enter setup now, it's F2 for whatever reason. I mean, that's okay, Acer. I mean, you just why not just switch just randomly? I mean, that's what I would do, you know. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. That is gonna go up now BAM so get shrekted yeah uh, exit signature yeah come on work for me yeah alright we're gonna go try without installing cause we're not gonna install it yet you see We're just gonna copy this stuff to the files of the thing and then and then work from there. Maybe. Man, I hate when I got I got reflective screens. I mean you can see me, I look pretty ridiculous. Just be well bent over laying down on um, Nexus Lubuntu computer, I mean. It's pretty weird. Yeah, Lubuntu. Lubuntu, yeah. Yeah. Ubuntu! Yeah. It feels so good when you like load it up, but then you realize that it's not gonna ever work again for you. If you know what, if you cast my drift. So we gotta go to files, right? Yeah, files. Alright, alright, where's, where's this? Okay, so we're not going to do that. We're going to take this USB right here that my dad gave me. Well, he's letting me borrow it. And it's not sucky. So we're going to see if that one works. So, the reason why we can't uh, do the one is because I deleted a Windows Vista off it. And I actually already tried it, but I lost the footage for that too. So... So we're gonna boot off that. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright. Unit booting is working. Uh, install Ubuntu. Look, we're just gonna try and install it. We're not even gonna go to the desktop. We're just gonna do it. Hopefully this works. Right, we got the loading screen. Uh, we got something. Alright, I'm not going to do this installer again. I'm just going to show you what we call the PC because I've done this so many times on this, so you don't have to see it again. Alright, so we changed some things. Uh, I'm now called Benny Boy. Uh, Any boy, it's called the Lubuntu Nature, and uh, the password's one, two, three, four, like like normal. So, so it's, why is it focusing? There we go. All right, this is the part where it always sucks. So if it crashes, I'll tell you. So far, I haven't got any error messages or anything. So I think I think it's working. I just want you guys to know that I've shot this video over a period of, sorry about that, but 
I've been sh shooting this video for over about like more than three months. I did it back like September twentieth or something was the first episode when I when I start. Well, not really the first episode, but the first like footage. So I've been working on this for a while. I've just kind of been getting back into it and kind of kind of getting out of it. But let's just kind of real quickly talk about my computer. So over those three months, the first time, uh, we install I installed something that was that I didn't like in File Explorer, and that's why I did that. Uh, this one, the second time it acted up. I don't know, did it act up three times? Yeah, no, it only acted up twice. Hopefully, you guys like my uh, my thing there. I think it looks really cool. But, basically, my downloads file is in the same exact place as my, uh, my Windows. So, it tried, I think it tried to go with Lubuntu and tried to boot that instead of Windows and it didn't like it. So, then we had to completely wipe my computer again. Is it completely wiped? I can't remember. Hold on. Yeah, just completely wiped. So, yeah, we're not going to really need that anymore. No. Let's check on the computer. Oh, it's almost done! I'll cut to it when it's done if it does. Literally, I just set down the camera. Let's just be like, error, it didn't install properly. Installation is complete. You need to restart the computer to use the new installation. Okay. <laughs> we finally installed something. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Did I not supposed to do that? I think I was just supposed to. Okay, okay, it's good. You can see my face, look. What's up? But, yeah, I, I shoot these with my phone. Big surprise, I know, right? Okay, I think we just have normal Ubuntu now on there. Penny boy. Is that more than... Sorry for the flicker, and I forget about that sometimes. Hmm. We've been waiting for it, so I connected to the internet. It says everything's good. Let's see if it actually does it. We got internet! Oh, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. That was a success. Hold on, let me mute my ugly cell phone. But, there we go, guys. 58 subs! Oh, wait, you can't see it. No. 58. But, so, guys, if you like these kind of computer videos, uh, actually, just yesterday, we picked up uh, three scrap computers. So, if you want to see stuff like this just let me know i'll probably just upload more stuff like this anyways but i'll see you all in the next video Buh bye bye